It's Zach Sang and the gang. In the studio right now, Nathan Sykes. Hello. I feel like it's been a very long time. It has been a very long time. Like, I remember the last time I saw you. Yeah. New York City. Yes. It was Grandpa Grande's birthday party. It certainly was. And that was it. Yeah. That was the last time. It was, yeah. And yeah, I don't know why it's been so long. I don't know either. It's been a minute. Yeah. How's life been? Uh, It's been very, very good. It's been very busy uh, and eventful. And there's been a lot of music. I've kind of locked myself away in the studio. I feel but. like it's been years planning for this moment. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean, you you, you killed it in The Wanted, Cheers, right? Man. Yeah. But you must have known the entire time that this was it. Because you, you hear <laughs> over and over again, it's a slam dunk, man. Well, you know what? You know what? Um, I think when you're in a band, you're very focused on the band. And yeah. you, you don't really think about anything else apart from what you're doing with the band. Um, but then when that kind of very quickly, like turned and it was like okay we're taking a break and it was like i was 20 and i was like cool what now and i I was like i was sat there and i kind of like i think i like locked myself in my bedroom for like a month and i was like i don't know what to do and i was like i can't do this for the rest of my life yeah and just wait for the day that someone picks up the phone and goes should get back together again um so i was like you know what i love music i love writing music i love making music um so i'm just gonna start writing and see what happens and then very quickly it turned into this is sounding good let's let's make an album of it so i was like okay why not uh and then very quickly that turned into like a uk tour and then i was like going out with an eight-piece band and stuff like that and i was like this is feeling really good um and then why does it feel so right i don't know it just I think it's just a natural thing to do. Um, and I think I really enjoyed expressing myself yeah. uh, instead of worrying about for other people and being like, what do they think? And there was like songs that I do that wouldn't a bit unlike the wanted. Yes. Um, and then they'd like never get cut. And then because it wouldn't suit like two of their voices and then they'd write songs that wouldn't suit my voice. And then like, so songs like that wouldn't get cut. I um, get that. We all, I think we, we compromised on sound. Um, like because we always kind of it was a collaboration exactly you five need, different sounds you have to sound good together you know exactly um, so I think I was really enjoying the process of of like expressing myself and yes. kind of finding who weirdly Nathan Sykes was for the first time in 20 years which was a bit strange well, really. I mean who are you I, I, to be fair I still don't know I'm, yeah. no, I'm joking I'm joking <laughs> um, is it a quest uh, you, you know, you know what? It's been it's been a mission because uh, yeah. I started off and it started off very R and B, like very dark, and I was like, that needs to change. <laughs> I'm not a dark person in this life, yeah. but I was, you know, like when you come, like when you kind of like take a break and start making music, and everyone does it. They're like, you know what? I'm gonna be really cool. Yeah. Uh, and, <laughs> yeah. and to be fair, I thought I was a lot cooler than I actually am. Yeah. Um, and I was like, hey, I'm just gonna be myself. I love jazz music. I love soul. I love Motown. I love pop music as well. I was like, I'm gonna try and merge them together and see what happens. Um, and I wrote a song called Morning Eleven O. Um, there's quite bluesy um and that was like a jamming session at the end of a long day of writing a very very r&b song that just wasn't me and i was like let's just try something else and we just started jamming on the guitar and i was like this is it and i started singing the chorus and i was like i've got the sound this is it and then like the week after i wrote my debut single kiss me quick and i was like cool okay i found it i'm really happy and it's fun as well it's like I'm I'm not that much of a depressing person. I mean, there are moments on the album that are de- extremely depressing, um, but in a, in a good way. Because yeah. I think ev- everyone goes through stuff, and I think like from a writer's point of view, it's it's great to write about stuff like that. Well, that's exactly it, right? And even if you listen to over and over again, right? Yeah. It's it's not depressing. Is it deep and beautiful? Yeah. yeah. I think it's another side. I think, it, yeah. think it's a softer side. Absolutely. Vulnerable. Some yes. would say. Um, I I I, yeah. I think I would say that. Thanks. Um, and I think. I really enjoyed writing that song because the songs on the album were a bit sad. Um, and they're about kind of like people who I cared about who didn't care for me and, uh, and stuff like that, like near relationships, like past relationships and yeah. like that sort of thing. And I was like, I want to write about telling someone how I feel um, and and the positive side of it and, and that kind of idea of that unconditional love that you kind of have throughout your life and and it's great that people are 
are now using it as their first dance at their weddings. Yeah. It's such a compliment. Um, and and obviously writing the video on the same day I wrote the song. Yeah. I was like, this is going to be a fun video. I'm going to act. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, why not? You went for it. I probably went for it. You did a good job. I forgot that I put in that very, very um, passionate scene halfway mm -hmm. through the song. Um, and we got, I was, I was in bed the day of the, the video shoot and I was flicking through all the different scenes. And I see this scene, I was like, I don't remember suddenly writing that I become half naked <laughs> in this video. So I rang up Frank, the director. I was like, mate, <laughs> what on earth is this? I was like, where's this come from? Um, and he was like, dude, that was, that was your idea. And I was like, I mean, I'm sure I can make it work, but, um, but is, I'm assuming that through music, right, and yeah. through these videos, that's how you truly ex express yourself. Absolutely, because I'm terrible at doing it in person. Yeah. Um, so I, I think, I think when, when I get into the studio, there's that moment of, you know, what, I can actually like yes. say stuff now because I'm I'm a bit awkward and a bit a bit strange when I want to be. Um, so like, I've seen you socially like a few times. You know, yeah, I mean? horrendous. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm the kid who sits there in the corner and just hopes that the party goes quickly. <laughs> a little bit. I mean, I've never related yes. more to a song than Alessia Cara here. Yeah. I'm just like, yep, that's me. <laughs> Alessia, I feel you so much. <laughs> Have you ever, you know, over and over again, you said the meaning was, you know, you expressing to someone truly the way you feel, yeah. right? Have you ever been able to do that? Because you've only been, I mean, according to what I've been able to find, right? Only two public relationships. Yeah. Ariana being one, yeah. and then there was one before them, both yeah. ending kind of soon to one another. Yeah. Have you ever been able to sit somebody down? No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, them included. Um, um, but it's, um, you know what? I, th I think especially with Over and Over Again, yeah. I wrote that song with the idea of eventually being like, hey, this is... This, this was it. This is written about about you. Was um, it written about Ariana? No, no, no. It wasn't. It was. It was written about someone else. And and the problem with that is they still don't know it's written about them. Um, what? Which, which you gotta is, like Facebook message it to them. Just well, Facebook message well, a link to them. Just a link. Yeah. <laughs> but not even like the video link. Just the iTunes download yeah, yeah, link. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they and they're yeah. like, uh, "Are you telling me to buy your music?" And like, like huh? there's a reason behind it. I promise. <laughs> um, and it's awkward because they text me the, the day it came out. They're like, you know what? This new song is is great. And I was like, you know what? I'm so happy you love it. This, this is <laughs> this is great. Um, so, okay, but. let's get into this because this is interesting to me. When I talk about somebody in my relationships on the air, I'm honest. Like, I'll, I'll yeah. say a name. Yeah. I don't care. <laughs> um, my thought is, are you going to tell them? How do you tell them? Or do you want them to just figure it out on their own? I've passed the point. To be fair, I, I think I'd be too nervous to tell them. Yeah. Um, and I think I'm the type of person, if they messaged me and was like, is this song written about me? I'd be like, who do you think you are? <laughs> <laughs> Get ego. rid of your ego. <laughs> it's like, how obnoxious of you to think that this song that I definitely wrote about you is about you. <laughs> um, so it, it's, I don't know. I think it's going to be one of them that I just never end up saying. No, I, I, re, I, are you still talking to this person actively? Yeah. Yeah. So are, are you seeing this person? No. Do you want to see this person? Not really. <laughs> not anymore. So do you not okay, so, so do you not feel this way about them today? Uh I I did it I did very much at the time I wrote it. Uh less so now. Um I think I think when you when you care for someone in life, I think you you always still have a soft spot for them. Yes. Um but I don't know, I'm very much in a place where I'm very much single at the moment. Okay. Um and and I think I'm enjoying that a lot. I'm just like, hey, like it's not fun kind of dragging someone around the world with you or just being like hi i'm having great fun on the other side of the world how is it in rainy england um, you having fun there no but, um, hard to see common ground you know hard to yeah hang. So, so i think it's difficult but I'm, I'm very focused on music i'm kind of dating music at the moment which which is odd um <laughs> but but i'm loving it i'm yeah extreme people we're yeah. very extreme especially on the songwriting side just put your heart in my Promise it won't. 